Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girls. So how many different types of uh, club root pathotypes or variants are there? Well, there's naturally um, an, uh, many variants that exist in a, so let, for example, if this field was con, had club root, if it was infested with club root, um, there would be many different pathotypes, but there would be one or maybe two that would predominate. So if you went around and sampled, you'd mainly find just one or two, but there are others that are present at low levels. Um, so it's a genetically diverse, the, the populations of club root are genetically diverse, and so there's a number of pathotypes that are present. We, we don't know the exact number, but we know that there are uh, at least four naturally occurring um, uh, club root pathotypes in Alberta. Now recently, uh, in 2013, there was a case uh, where a club root resistant cultivar was showing large areas that were uh, had large galls on the roots and it was found that there was a, a new pathotype that had been essentially emerged in that field and so that that's a new one for Alberta and then since that time uh, surveillance done by Alberta Agriculture, the University of Alberta, the Ag Fieldmen and the Canola Council revealed another 27 suspect fields of which 16 were confirmed to have uh, a pathotype that now um, our, re our resistant varieties were no longer resistant to that virulent uh, pathotype. Of those uh, 16, uh, nine of them are unique. So we, we know we have nine new ones uh, just in the last few years. So there's, there's a significant genetic diversity and potential for these variants that exist at low levels in the population to emerge when there's a lot of selection pressure, um, which would uh, essentially be accomplished by uh, showing them the resistance over and over and over again. And so in the areas where these variants are showing up are the areas that uh, club root has been present the longest. And so they've seen the genetics uh, enough times now that we're starting to see the selection of these new these new variants or new pathotypes becoming more predominant in the population. I guess a lot of people would argue why should I worry about resistance because they'll just come out with new varieties. Is there any way that uh, the canola industry can stay ahead of all these different um, pathotypes? Yeah, great question. Um, uh, the So uh, it's really quite astonishing to me how fast uh, the canola industry and the seed companies have come out with resistant genetics for club root. It's been remarkable and uh, hats off to them for the great work they do there. Um, so yes, the, the canola industry will be able to uh, make significant strides. However, there is not an unlimited amount of germplasm available to canola breeders. So I think that it would be a little bit foolish to just throw caution to the wind and say, we're not gonna change any of our management strategies to deal with club root. We're, we're gonna you know, push as hard as we can on these resistance tools until they break, and then we'll just use the new ones. Eventually we'll run out um, or we'll lose ground and it will be challenging to produce canola in fields that have club root variants that we don't have resistance to. So resistance stewardship is a big part of this. When the, when the companies go to the effort of creating these wonderful varieties that are resistant to club root, we want to use them as long as we can, making it easier for us to stay ahead of them and prolonging the time that we can use them. And so that's done through the classic management strategies that are discussed where you scout for the disease to know whether you have it or not. You use uh, rotation, preferably canola once every four years. Um, and then in case, and you use equipment sanitization in fields that have club root in them. And, and I think using, uh, you know, those basic principles will be able to prolong these great varieties that we have and, and use the resistance for as long as possible. Mm -hmm.